So I'm creating this video because I was partially inspired by um, a company called WFO Concepts. Uh, I was watching one of their videos and they were talking about a guy who did a solid axle swap on a cat eye style truck. Um, mine is an 07 Classic and um, basically what happens and what I saw in that video was they were talking about um, the washer fluid reservoir. And um, one of the things that happens when you lift uh, these trucks, mine being an 07, is you lift it and you put big tires on it. And then you can see the washer fluid reservoir is right here. And um, it's real easy if you're doing something silly for this tire to possibly make contact with that. The other thing too, is that if you look at it from this angle, you'll see that the washer reservoir kind of flows in the same direction as the bumper, the inner fender. And if you look at my inner fender, you can see how it's all cracked and broke from not only misuse, from a bad bumper and many other things. Now in that video that I had watched from WFO Concepts, one of the things that they made mention of is that in that particular video, uh, the guy who built that truck had swapped out a fluid washer fluid reservoir container uh, from an 04 or, some, or an 015 and newer. So I had to come in here anyways because these trucks are notorious for the plastic fittings for the fluid to break. So I had to fix that and I figured, hey, while I'm in here, Let's see if this actually works. So I've got the battery out, the battery tray out, and this is the old um, reservoir still in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you that that container out of a new truck does in fact fit. There are, it is a completely different shape. The neck is completely different. So I'm going to take this out so that I can show you what this one and how that one differ. I only have the bolt just barely in here. So it's just the one bolt on the side right now. And once you take that out, the whole thing will just fall out the bottom. So this is the back side of the two containers. The difference is this is the side towards the tire so this one has that big sweep and this one doesn't have as much of a sweep and it's a little bit narrower and then if you put these side by side you can see this one is the old one which is taller and more narrow near the bottom where this one is just kind of narrow it it looks thicker but it's not um, they both have provisions for the washer pump and the fluid sensor. So here's the washer pump on this one, fluid sensor on this side. Um, now, this is where things get a little bit uh, challenging. So sensor for the water or the fluid level from this one is smaller than this, so it does not work. Um, the pump, they do work. Um, I switched, I just basically, I pulled the one from here, put it in here to test, it worked. For this, it has the little rubber ring that comes with it from the factory. Um, and this thing here is just a little uh, one inch taper plug and I use some seal all to tighten to seal that off. So for the, for the sensor in here, I'm not going to use that because I honestly, I don't care. Um, if my washer or my fluid is low, you're gonna know for the pump, um, that's just the, the, the part from here. The one thing that you're going to need to do over here though, is that if you don't want to use the sensor, just leave this one plug unplugged for it and then just tape it off and put it aside. So I'm going to put the new one in and show you a couple of things that I had to do there. So the first thing is there's a lip right here, this lip, and this is where the original bolts. So I put a hole here, but there's this lip here um, on the new container right here. This needs to be modified so that it will sit, so this piece here sits above that lip, and I'll show you that here. 
and just before I put it in there, there's the old pump. It fits in there, no problems. I gotta attach the side hose, plug it in, but it fits. So unlike the old one that comes up from the bottom, this one has to come up from the top. And if you turn it, if you turn it sideways, as it's going down, we'll come in. This is where it's a little snug, but you just kind of turn it and it sits. And now you can see here, how you have to trim that. And then what I did is I drilled a hole in the back and I'm just gonna put a Christmas tree in there. But before I do that, I gotta run the back hose off of this to provide water. Now the downside is you can see that there's nowhere for that hose to hold, so it just will flop around too. Okay, so I got the plug and the hard line on there. Got some new soft line here. Just gonna put on the hard line. Hard line or soft line installed the hard line. Now we can just fish that down beside everything. So the hose is connected down there, which you can't really see, but it just comes up here, which then feeds back to here. Um, you can see here is like I was saying before, you get that lip. This has been modified. I have one of these little Christmas trees. And then what I'm going to do is this Christmas tree will fit through this hole and fit into this hole. And that holds that there. So that's good. Um, I don't worry about the bottom because, so this is just here to do this, but you can see that it's still fairly loose, but take the battery tray, stick it down in the hole, and I'll put a couple of bolts in this. And now it shuffles a little bit, but the battery tray pretty much holds it in place. Also, I'm a dumb dumb, and I forgot to plug in my pump back there, but there's no way I'll be able to get at it right now. So I gotta pull this out, but here's the difference. The old one, if you remember, used to come out to here. So it used to go straight across. Um, so it was almost, you could almost, in fact, see it poking out right here. But this one sits way back further. It basically is anything, it doesn't pass by anything here. So everything from here is all free. That hole back here, um, you could technically make that work. Um, there's a big gap behind here though. So you would have to um, make like a standoff or, you know, get some like, all thread or something and then thread that in and, and something there. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now, but I find that I need to do more to uh, support this, I will. Um, but you can see it's in, you can see that's there. Now, one thing that I checked is that this fill neck does sit considerably higher. Um, I checked with some tape and grease and on this truck, which is an HD, so it's got the bigger hood, this isn't a problem. Um, on the others, on the non-HDs, I don't know um, if this is a problem or not. Um, if you need, you can you can cut this neck down. This cap just sits on here, um, and it, it can be moved around. 
um, or you know you can get like a, a rubber plug that can fit inside here to seal it again I'm not gonna worry about this too much it's not a problem if I find it becomes a problem then I'll change it I do like that it's higher because on the stock truck it sits almost flush with this lip so when you're trying to pour your fluid in there it has a tendency to pour over your battery and make a mess so this might stop that um, I did have to move I just have it kind of tucked in the back there I did have to move the horn um, that's probably why on the old um, on the old jug this is off to the side so that it can clear the horn because the horn sits right back in here and with this pump and everything else it'll it'll end up hitting it um, so I think that's why it's off to the side where this one when it's on the back you'll have to move the horn so I just disconnected it it's sitting inside right now I'll have to um, fix that because I think think the body of that horn gets grounded so it, I'll probably only have one horn right now so I'll fix that because I gotta do some more work behind here anyways so that's not a big deal um, but yeah other than that uh, stock water stock fluid pump fits um, sensor I just left unplugged get rid of the message because I don't care um, one hole with a pin here a little bit of shaving here uh, battery tray goes in that'll hold the uh, the thing from moving around so what if you need to make some extra space under there so that you can have um, you know that working for you then that's that's definitely a way to go um, buy the parts off rock auto if you can you know if you got junk carriage around you might be able to find it and get it cheaper i only had to buy the jug or the, the fluid container for this one plus those little amazon parts and that's it so um thanks to w wfo for creating that video so i could find this that it's going to help a lot with the clearance um you know if you got big tires a big lifted truck solid axle on these things um maybe perhaps looking to doing this if you need more room and want your washer reservoir to be intact and keep as stock as possible. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.